Eubank doing his damnedest to stay alive. Goes in onto Wolf, helps come up with a kill as Crown picks that up for the rest of Samsung. They're still limping their way back to the base. Hey everyone, Jad here. This week on The Breakdown, I wanted to talk about winning games without reliable initiation. World Champions SK Telecom T1 are masters of this. The vast majority of team compositions have some form of reliable initiation. Initiators like Ash, Maokai, or even Malzahar can be a fantastic tool for catching people out of position or to quickly force a team fight while ahead in order to snowball a lead. SKT, however, more than any other team, often opt out of high initiation team compositions due to their talent for closing out games. In game two of their 2016 World Championship Finals rematch against Samsung Galaxy, in week five of the 2017 LCK Spring Split, SKT once again picked a team composition that lacked reliable initiation. And without that initiation, they still closed out the game, thanks to their ability to pressure the map, create plays off of map movements, and force fights around objectives. Let's get into it. Against Samsung's team composition, which has strong initiators in Cubase Maokai and Ambition's Rengar, the danger of SKT getting picked off is high. The way SKT plays around this is threefold. They keep Samsung spread out with constant pressure in all three lanes, they keep deep wards to gain general knowledge of Samsung's positioning, and they also respond quickly to Samsung's aggression to prevent them from capitalizing on successful plays. All three of these things can be seen in action 26 minutes into the game. SKT are positioned to push all three lanes with Faker in the top lane, Bang, Wolf, and Peanut in the mid lane, and Huni with Teleport pushing out the bot lane. SKT also have two wards inside Samsung's jungle in excellent spots. By placing wards in such high traffic areas, SKT increase their chances of spotting Samsung. Yet here, Samsung still make a good play. By seeing Faker top and Huni bot, Samsung know that they can overpower SKT in the river and gain an aggressive angle onto Faker. While Faker is able to Valkyrie and flash back towards safety, the rest of SKT attempts to respawn and eventually Huni falls in the small team fight. The thing is though, due to SKT's map pressure with no minions to push in the top lane, as well as pushed lanes in mid and bot, the only advantage Samsung gains here is the one kill over SKT. In fact, after the fight, SKT destroys Samsung's control ward and regain control of the river, maintaining their overall map pressure. Let's compare Samsung's kill onto Huni at 26 minutes to SKT's kill onto Crown six minutes later. SKT spot Cubase Maokai in the bot lane without teleport, trying to shove out a wave, as well as Stitch's Jin and Wraith's Kale in the mid lane. Therefore, when they spot Crown's Victor with the ward in the river, they know that they can cut off Crown and force a numbers advantage. Peanut and Faker hop the wall and kill Crown. The difference here though, is what happens after. Since Cubase Maokai was bottom without teleport and Stitch and Wraith were behind the halfway point of mid lane, SKT immediately turn for Baron and secure it. Huni then casts his Rumble ultimate onto Ambition and thanks to the speed boost from Wolf's Karma, SKT run Ambition down for their next kill. Now, since SKT already have a minion wave in the mid lane, they push in to destroy a turret, and since they know they have a numbers advantage mid lane, it frees Faker up to push in the top lane and take yet another turret. Within this 70 second sequence, SKT increased their goal lead by 4.8 thousand. And it was possible because of SKT's map pressure and their ability to punish Samsung for the smallest mistakes. But that wasn't all SKT had in store. Many teams struggle with a large lead when they lack reliable initiation. SKT thrives. After extending their gold lead to nearly 10,000, SKT begins setting up around the Elder Dragon. Since the Elder Dragon is in a fixed location, Samsung need to come to SKT if they want to contest it. And by setting a trap around Elder and waiting for Samsung, SKT essentially create their initiation. SKT then push Samsung away from the pit and force several back to base. Ambition then tries to steal the Elder, which fails. And here, since Samsung is so close to SKT, and since SKT has such a substantial lead, SKT run down Samsung and pick up three kills during the chase. With the Elder Dragon kill into the team fight win, SKT extended their lead, killed a Samsung inhibitor, and eventually went on to destroy Samsung's Nexus. All told, SKT played exactly to their win conditions and performed so well that they made up for the weaknesses in their team comp. Despite having low initiation, 
they were still able to control the map, make plays, force objectives, and ultimately exert their will over Samsung. Games like this display SKT's excellent game knowledge, as well as serve as a reminder of why they are three-time world champions. With their low initiation team composition and stellar play, SKT went on to win the series 2-0 and improve their 2017 LCK Spring Split record to 7-1.